What up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be looking at my updated SF9 collection. I did my first SF9 collection video like two years ago. So let's see what I've gotten in the two years. We're gonna look at all the stuff first and then my posters and then last we're gonna look at my photo cards. Let's go. So for this top part, it's just like a bunch of random stuff, but we got the first photo book and the two version light sticks and then my photo card collection book binder. It's a binder. Then we have my Kino and then we have the glory circle and my InSong signed Polaroid and the light stick and the fake badge and the straps and then that lollipop in my last video. Zuho gave it to me and I never ate it and I still haven't eaten it. Maybe I'll eat it at the end of the video. And then we have my tour shirts and the blanket. This is like the cloth section, I guess. And then the first row, we have random stuff. This is the 2021 season's greetings. We have the desk calendar in the back. On the left is the photo book and then the right is the diary. And then we have this accordion postcard thingy. Then in this middle one is my Chani Shrine. Some of the stuff are fan site stuff. And then most of the standees, well, all of the standees are um, official. Then moving over here is the 2020 season's greetings. We have the desk calendar, the postcard, the diary thing the greeting card and then we have this pen and the stickers and then on the second row we have the fan club kits starting with the second one we have these random ass cup holders i got when i was in korea didn't know where to put them so there they are and then we have the second box here she is in all her glory love good slow-mo and then we have the items that came in the box the badge the pencil and this bookmark thingy and then we have this photo book which i got signed i have a video on it if you want to check it out i'll put a little link thingy up above Anyways, moving on to the middle box with the first fan kit, which I also got signed by all the members. It's in the same video, I think, with the photo book that got signed. Anyways, that's all the stuff with the photo card and stuff and the postcards and then this little bag thingy holder. I don't know what it is, but there it is. We move on to the third fan club kit. We have the box and the light stick holder and then we have the photo book and then we have the stickers and then we all have all this photo card and the badge and then I put this picture of Tang and Dawan because I thought it was so cute and funny. So for the last row we have the album and the fourth fan club kit. So these are the albums in order. I have two O Solo Mios because one of them is signed. And then we have the fourth fan club kit. So in the back we have the box. And then we have the water bottle, the pouch, the badge, the photo books is on the right. And the picture from the bottom of the box. And then moving on to this side is the rest of the album and the two season greetings box. And then moving on top is the Polaroids from this first photo book. And then after this, we're gonna move on to check out my posters. So this is a Chani Big Head that I printed when I first became a fan. I believe it's from Pink Day, the fan site. Anyways, it's really embarrassing. I never took it out of my room. I thought about taking it to KCON 2017, but 
I said no because social anxiety. Anyways, I have so many Osolo Mio posters because of the 30 albums I bought to get into the fan sign. So that's why this is here. And then this is my whiteboard and I have this paper slogan I got on their tour and then the magnet. And then we have this slogan, a picture of me and my dad, and then his poster and then the tour poster. And then on this side, we have the narcissist poster and then their feeling sensation poster and then the rest of my posters. Most of the errors, I don't have Mama Mia or Now or Never. And then we have my slogans. That Kang Chani black one is the back of the other one you saw by my whiteboard. And then the bottom one is a holographic one. And then the top one's like the official SF9 slogan with their signature in the back. What up, what up? We back with the photo card binder. This time I'm just gonna flip real quick through it because if you haven't seen my other photo card binder video, go check that out. I don't think I even explained anything in there either. So yeah, have fun with that. Since this part is a little empty, I'm gonna rant a little because I saw posts or another YouTuber talking about how when people unbox things and then they get kind of like sad that they don't get their bias photo card in the album or whatever. I'm just like, look, I collect one member. It's so hard and like time consuming to have to sell and trade to get all one bias and it's really expensive to collect every member so it's like i'm kind of freaking sad because i have to do extra work now yeah anyways that's the end oh my p1 harmony stuff oops so that's it for my sf9 collection if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff stay put For like the behind the scenes thing, the shelf does not belong to me. It's my mom's. I would not keep all my SF9 things like this because it would just be like too much to like upkeep. And then for this um, Polaroid, it doesn't have like a stand by itself. So I taped cardboard to it so it can stand by itself, but it's like on edge <laughs> mood. If Anyone's ever wondering if I ever keep all the photo cards? I do. Like, I, I can't bring myself to, like, all this. I can't bring myself to, like, sell them off. Same for season greetings and, like, the fan kit and stuff. Like, in this, I still have all the numbers, photo cards. I could sell them and make like a like a good amount of money, but I don't really want to. <laughs> like I just want to keep it as a set. The only one that didn't come with photo cards was the second one. These are all the photo cards except for Chani's. Also on this side, it's a mess. I got my P1 Harmony <laughs> album and the extra photo card binder thing, some extra Polaroids from the string thing. So this is how I usually keep my SF9 things. I have like this SF9 box where I just put mostly all my SF9 stuff, but it's gotten too small. And now I have a luggage, basically. This luggage is where I keep the more important stuff like the fan club kits or my side albums anything i find important i have in here just in case i need to run i'll just take this luggage and go so ready to go sf9 collection and then we have the this we have this little laptop bag that i keep like miscellaneous sf9 things that are like 
this badge or these stuff this <laughs> or this really cute stuff or these random other memories we have like the fans and then the slogans some other paperworks or some baggage for the merch yeah that's it so that's it for the video thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button subscribe comment down below if you're excited for sf9 on kingdom or if you're not that's reasonable too <laughs> okay bye